Hello, in this tutorial, we are going to create bootstrap navigation bar on WordPress. First, here on functions.php, we have to enable menus. We have to write add theme support, then menus. Then we have to register name menu, name menu. Then here would be an array. Then menu ID. First, we have to give it a name. I'm going to declare it as a top menu. Then I have to write theme. As you can see, we already have a hard coded bootstrap navigation bar here. We are going to change that. Here we are going to say php wp nav menu. Then it would be an array. Menu would be top menu. We have made a mistake here. It would be minus. Here we are going to create a menu. We're gonna name it main menu. Then add items. I've already created five pages. Now I'm going to add those here. You gonna change the name Now we are going to create some styling for this menus. For that we have to go to header, then here gonna declare menu class here menu item would be these classes. Then there wouldn't be any container, we have to say that container would be none. Here, now here list item and anchor tag doesn't have any classes, so you have to describe them. You're gonna say array class, then array class is nav item, then a class would be nav link and then active plus to be active now if we refresh you won't see those classes here we have to add those on our functions.php now here we have to write functions a class name function a class name add class name to ally I'm gonna get three arguments first one would be classes then item 
then arcs or arguments first we have to write if is set then arcs the arcs array class it will check if this argument does have array class if doesn't have then it won't work classes give array class then we're gonna return classes Now we have to register this function. We have to say add filter, then nav menu CSS class. Then here would be the function name add class ally. Then priority I will set to the default option which is 10. Then Here would be the number of arguments we are going to give to the function. It would be 3. Now if you go here, reload, then if we refresh, we can see that it has nav item. See? It has nav item class. Now for active one, we also want to set an active class. For that we have to check if set args has active class if it does has active class then we're gonna set that active class to the list item now if you reload see one of them has active class we made a mistake here currently active one and if you check the list you will see that by default wordpress adds current menu item class to active link we're gonna add active class only to the active one for that we have to check if the classes have current menu item class you're gonna check this with in array then the class name which is current menu item then array which is classes now only active one will get active plus see so now only active one is getting the active plus now we just have to add nav link to the anchor tag for that we have to write a function function add nav class or just name it nav function add a anchor class it will also get three arguments first one would be attributes then item then arcs or arguments first we're gonna check if anchor tag anchor class exists Then here we're gonna say attribute class equal arcs a class or anchor class. Then return attributes. You have to add a filter, add filter, then wp nav would be nav nav menu links attributes nav menu link attributes here it would be the function name which is add anchor class 
then here would be priority which is 10 and accepted args number is 3 now if you go back here see it is now getting every strip classes now we can just delete the our hard code of the stream l1 so it is working properly so that's it for this tutorial see you in the next one bye